Today I will discuss about accommodation and its different formula in clinical practice. I will discuss about how to calculate amplitude of accommodation, how to find amplitude of accommodation from near point of accommodation, how to find required accommodation at any specific given distance, and obstetrics formula for maximum, normal, and minimum amplitude of accommodation in particular age. We all know that in an emetropic eye, rays coming from infinity focus on the retina and we see the object clearly. Now if the object bring closer to the eyes, the burdens of rays from the object increases. Rays become more divergent. If our eyes would have a fixed power, then rays will focus behind the retina and we would see the object blur. But nature has given us a such precious mechanism that is accommodation through which eyes can change the shape of crystalline lens to increase the converging power of our eye and we can see clearly object in closer distance also. But our accommodation has a limit means it can increase our eyes converging power at a certain limit which is called amplitude of accommodation. At young age amplitude of accommodation is higher and with age increasing amplitude of accommodation gradually decreases. Now as amplitude of accommodation decreases with age so there must be a normal below of amplitude of accommodation for specific age. If we can identify someone's amplitude of accommodation, then we can match with the normal below and identify whether he or she is having normal accommodative response or not. So there are two things we need to identify. One, how to identify actual amplitude of accommodation of the patient. Two, how to find normal below of amplitude of accommodation for a specific age. Let's see how to identify actual amplitude of accommodation of the patient. Several methods are there but easiest method is identify the near point of accommodation in centimeter then use the formula amplitude of accommodation equal to 100 divided by near point of accommodation in centimeter. Let's see how to identify near point of accommodation. Ask the patient to sit comfortably with his or her correction. Then ask the patient to fix it at any size letters or word at arm distance that is 50 to 100 cm. Then slowly take the target towards the patient until patient reports first sustained or persistent blur. Now measure the distance with a centimeter scale from the eye to the target that is near point of accommodation. Let's see an example. While performing near point of accommodation procedure, a patient reports sustained blur at 11 cm. What is amplitude of accommodation of this patient? According to formula, amplitude of accommodation equal to 100 divided by near point of accommodation in cm or amplitude of accommodation equal to 100 divided by 11 or amplitude of accommodation is 9.09 .09 or 9 diopter. Now let's see how to find normal below of amplitude of accommodation for a specific age. To find out amplitude of accommodation for a specific age, we can use Ofstetter's formula. Ofstetter's formula helps us to identify maximum, minimum and normal below of amplitude of accommodation for a specific age. The maximum amplitude of accommodation for a specific age equal to 25 minus 0.4 multiplied by age. Expected normal amplitude of accommodation for a specific age equal to 18.5 minus 0.3 multiplied by age. Minimum amplitude of accommodation for a specific age equal to 15 minus 0.25 multiplied by age. For example, what will be the maximum expected and minimum amplitude of accommodation of a 20 years old patient? According to Ofstetter's formula, maximum amplitude of accommodation will be 25 minus 0.4 multiplied by 20 or 17 diopter and expected normal amplitude of accommodation will be 18.5 minus 0.3 multiplied by 20 or 12.5 diopter 
and minimum amplitude of accommodation will be 15 minus 0.25 multiplied by 20 or 10 diopter. So a 20 years old patient can have maximum amplitude of accommodation 17 diopter, expected or normal amplitude of accommodation around 12.5 diopter and minimum amplitude of accommodation 10 diopter. Now we need different accommodative power at different distances. Closer the distance, higher the burdens of rest and higher the accommodation required. There is a formula through which we can identify accommodation required at any given distance. The formula is required accommodation equal to 100 divided by distance in centimeter. For example, to see clearly at 40 centimeter how much our eyes will need to accommodate According to above formula, accommodation required equal to 100 divided by distance in centimeter or accommodation required equal to 100 divided by 40 or accommodation required equal to 2.5 diopter. So to see clearly at 40 centimeter, our eyes have to induce 2.5 diopter of accommodation. Let's see another example. A 25 years old patient has near point of accommodation 8 cm. Identify the actual amplitude of accommodation, expected amplitude of accommodation and final diagnosis. Actual amplitude of accommodation equal to 100 divided by near point of accommodation in centimeter or actual amplitude of accommodation equal to 100 divided by 8 or actual amplitude of accommodation equal to 12.5 diopter. So actual amplitude of accommodation of this patient is 12.5 diopter. Now expected amplitude of accommodation for this age according to Hofstetter's formula. Expected amplitude of accommodation equal to 18.5 minus 0.3 multiplied by age or expected amplitude of accommodation equal to 18.5 minus 7.5 or expected amplitude of accommodation is 11 diopter. Expected amplitude of accommodation at this age according to obstetrics formula is 11 diopter. So patient is having more than amplitude of accommodation than required at this age. So this patient may have accommodation access. Stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.